Welcome to Junkyard Haunts, where we turn trash into haunts. Today we're going to be making a fountain tombstone. I've made two other tombstones on this channel, but we're going to once again do it different than the last two. I of course will put up links to the last one so you can check them out. But this time we're going to make an actual working fountain. Now to make this I decided to use styrofoam since the last times we used cardboard and styrofoam will also be a slightly more waterproof than cardboard. Just slightly, you know. Uh, t I actually bought some heavy dumbbells and these were the styrofoam that was put around the dumbbells to keep them safe, I guess. And so I am using that trash to build the base of this tombstone and to make the supports when I connect them together I am just using some plastic knives. Uh, I'm going to decorate it with some large skulls and I have done this many times in the past uh, by making a milk jug skull. And I'm going to cut the jaw off of it because I, uh, for this particular thing because I didn't want the actual mouth part of it for my fountain and I'm going to seal that back off with some plastic and some tape make sure you hit subscribe because I make props every Monday to decorate this tombstone even more uh, I have some other styrofoam I'm not sure where this stuff came from but I'm just drawing straight on there the shape that I want and then I will duplicate that shape so that we can have it on both sides. And you can see I have just the face part of the skull right there, which I'm actually going to be putting on the top of that. I used the same way, I just made two more skulls off camera, so we didn't have to watch that off. But it's the exact same way. Uh, now I'm putting in grooves in actual styrofoam, and that's the plus of styrofoam, is you can design it a little bit better. Uh, notice I have different tools, but in the end, really what works really good is a durable pen. Honestly, the, I started not using these tools the further I go, and just actually just plucking it out with some wire or anything like that, and then using my fingers to uh, make the grooves bigger. I am testing my tiny little pump here uh, to see how well it works. And when you're making styrofoam, uh, to make the grooves uh, more durable and even a little bit bigger, you can use a heat gun on it, and that will actually expand or shrink up the styrofoam, so they'll make will make those cracks and grooves bigger. So, and it was also very very bad for your lungs to do that. So make sure you're in a well ventilated place or wearing some type of mask. And then to decorate those tops. I'm just putting the, the skulls, gluing them straight on, and I'm actually covering them in uh, thin set mortar. Uh, th well, one, uh, since this is a fountain, it'll make it a little bit more waterproof, if you can make plastic more waterproof. But really, it's just I didn't want that texture, and this adds in like a, a stone-like texture. Since the styrofoam, when you uh, beat it up and stuff, it come, turns and looks more like stone. Uh, the plastic on there would be nice and smooth and it wouldn't look very well. So that's the main reason I'm putting the thin set mortar on. Uh, to add more to this fountain, I just didn't want a big gaping hole. So I'm just taking more styrofoam and making a indention ramp here is all. Really it's just a matter of just look, taking a look, step back, looking at it, seeing what you like, and just adding more. You can always just throw more styrofoam on there. Uh, to design the middle, again like before you just draw straight on the styrofoam and then I'm actually trying to make like a, a cross that you see in a lot of tombstones and I am switching my tool up again. Uh, this time I'm actually using the a paint can opener <laughs> to dig out the styrofoam and again my fingers to smooth it out and to make it look good. <laughs> really the idea is is you can use anything you want as long as it's sharp enough and pointy enough to to pick out styrofoam
uh, in the bottom of this just to um, make it more smooth I decided to rip out some more because the styrofoam I'm using had some bumps and grooves in it so I'm just kind of removing those and making it more smooth is all and once again I'm using the heat gun to just compact it down to make it look more solid and stuff and again for real do not <laughs> be in that room very long if you're using that uh, heat gun on styrofoam because it is not good for your lungs and the last thing I'm actually cutting out is the base here to make it look more like stone and I'm once again using a wire stick this time and using my fingers to carve it out Uh, and now we're putting on the top skull where I'm actually going to have the water come out of it. Uh, my skull is, is painted because my daughter wanted to paint something while I was working on this stuff. And I didn't care if this got painted because we're just going to cover it just like our other side stones with that thin set mortar. Uh, the fountain part, we're just going to take that tube that came straight out of the fountain out of the pump I mean and we're just going to f feed that up and stick it straight through that skull and make sure that tube is sticking out there at the bottom and then we're just going to hot glue it gun all back together so it looks nice and stays sturdy and of course covering it with the thin set mortar and once that dries we're going to start painting the entire thing uh, you're going to paint all that you can possibly reach and see. And I'm just painting this in actual... I'm painting this with a uh, dark gray, but I'm actually using an exterior latex paint. Since this is going to have a fountain and actually have water on it running out, uh, you want to use some exterior latex paint because uh, that's waterproof. Um, just regular acrylic paint will eventually mold and rot over time. After we get that base completely covered, uh, we're just going to take that same paint and add a little bit of white to it so that we can dry brush it on to, to actually make it look like stone. The dark gray doesn't look good. Uh, the, dry brush is, the dry brush is actually where all the detail comes out of it. Thanks for watching that video. I made two other tombstones. All of them have been slightly different, so make sure you go check those out. I'll have put links up for them to go check them out. I think if I was gonna do this one again, I would put in a bigger pump. Uh, this one's shooting out just a tiny stream, so I think it would look better if it was a bigger pump. This is the drip game. You can't get your finger wet. Oh man. Instead of constant stream, this is going to be really hard. Bah. Oh, I think I actually did it. Wow, that's... Bah. Oh no, I hit the bottom of my finger. Bah. Yeah, I think I did it. Guess it's not a constant stream. I was wrong.